Hi guys, welcome to the third day of the MSME Showcase brought to you by DARE and... The Borneo Bulletin Yearbook. My name is Bash Harry and I'm with... Zane Sabri here. Yes, usually you guys would be tuning in to us on the radio, but then again, this is a brand new effort, again, okay? brand new initiative that we're bringing to you where we are here at One Riverside on a beautiful, beautiful sunny Sunday, right? We see a lot of families coming over with their families, supporting local businesses and MSMEs here. And how many vendors do we have? So there is about 20. 22, if I remember right. correctly. Yes. And 22 vendors where they are local products uh, by Brunei made, proudly by Brunei. Yes, exactly. And we will be focusing today on three specific ones. Muntas Collections, Mukaku, and Coffee by Dills Trails. Wow, three powerhouse here in Brunei. Yeah? It's like they are among the, one of the leading uh, entrepreneurs 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 here in Brunei Salam coffee by Dale especially would definitely love that on a Sunday amazing ooh, iced cold coffee, coffee. Ooh, yeah yes. agree and also Mumtaz and Mukaku so be sure to stay tuned with us and find out more about them yeah yes. and what do we have as well here at Palangi, we are holding DJ auditions from 3 to 5 p.m. So if you're interested to find out if you have what it takes to be a DJ, please come over and check it out. 18 to 30 years old. All you need to do is bring yourself, bring your confidence, and let's roll with it, okay? For the DJ audition, the third day for the MSME Showcase here. We'll see you there. All right, right now we are with Sarah okay, from Mumtaz. So tell us a little bit more about uh, Mumtaz, when uh, Mumtaz was established and right. what Mumtaz is all about. All right. uh, we started actually in February 2010 yeah. um, through Facebook only and at uh, that time it was the Booksys time. Oh, Booksys. Booksys. <laughs> uh, and then uh, only in 2012 yeah. we started to, to have our own physical boutique which was in Batu Satu mm -hmm. uh, but now we are, uh, we are in Matamata. So it's been running for over 10 years now. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. We, thank you. Yes, oh, we, 10 years. You we see? were supposed to celebrate our 10th anniversary this year, but uh, yeah, due to um, unforeseen COVID. circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but as what we understand that Mumtaz is among one of the powerhouses, yeah, especially in the uh, Tudong fashion here in Brunei Salam. So tell us uh, what aspires you to go on and also to expand uh, Mumtaz. Right. Um, when we started in 2010, it was basically to help people because um, that time um, it was the it was the era of tudong yang we call it tudong masuk mm -hmm. tudong express yeah tudong express. express yes um, so basically we were helping people to how to get uh, to get to get them mm -hmm. uh, so people doesn't have to go to KL you know yeah. uh, so and so we started with tudong express um, and in 2011 August 2011 we started our our we started to design our mm. own tudong which was the Aisha like what we can see so, here, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Aisha is now eight years old. Eight years, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So this is one of um, our signature shawls. Mm -hmm. uh, we call this uh, Aisha's signature shawl. And um, and then we started to design our own um, design, um, which is now um, a square. We oh, with all, more patterns as yeah, well. Yeah, more patterns. Oh. And we come up with um, design. Lang. Uh, basically, the latest one, let me show you. This is really beautiful. So what's this inside? Yes, um, this is umbrella. Ah, so it's locally designed and also yeah, locally, locally produced design, as well. Yeah. So do you have any more patterns coming yeah. up? Um, no, I want to show you this is one of our top selling this week. <gasps> it's so cute. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, Ta-da! Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, this, come up, uh, this also comes in you know, uh, it's instant shawl. Uh -huh. um, the, the one yang instant shawl uh, you don't have to pin. So basically, it's a uh, pinless hijab. Um, and we call it Tudong Lima Belas Saat. Oh. Oh wow, express again. Yes. But that's good. The, uh, the convenience of uh, the users as well. So thank you very much, Asara, all right, for joining thank us so for today. Thank, thank you. you. Love makeup and Mukaku has a vegan, cruelty free, locally made products. Am I correct? Yes. Great, so tell us a little bit about your products then. 
So Mukaku Cosmetics is a Brunei natural makeup. So what is special about this Mukaku Cosmetics? All the ingredients are made from organic and natural um, plant-based ingredients only. So what does cruelty-free mean actually here? Um, cruelty-free, it means like it doesn't test it on animals. Yeah, so it is safe. And this is also safe for even kids. Kids also like to wear Mukaku Cosmetics because the ingredients are all safe and it doesn't have the synthetic chemicals. And it's made in Brunei? Yes, it is made in Brunei. It is uh, formulated by our own founder, Miss Edi Zurina. And she's the one who formulated all the ingredients, all the colors. She's, the, she's formulating this product. So how many products are there all together? Um, actually, Mukaku Cosmetics um, has a very various uh, types, not only focus on makeup, but we also have Alexer and body massage oil. Alexer? Mm. Yes, Alexer mm. is like a face serum. But at the moment, we don't pre produce it. So we only bring this makeup. Ah, yeah. can you show us some? Yeah, sure. We have five five shades here. Okay, so we have the. Oh, sorry. This is the two colors, the best-selling one, Adelia, and also Hanania. Ooh. So all the names we take it from the kids. Yeah. Take it, you, take it the from name the kids. is inspired okay. from the kids, like Just, Rania, Adelia, Hanania. Hanania is like mm. one of my my founder's names. Oh, mm. and yeah. Ilova. And Ilova is also one of the. Giselle, oh. Giselle is brown. It's like I really love the packaging. It's like it comes yes, with the wood accent. Yes, because we want to make it like um, natural, look yeah. it like vegan. Yeah. So that's why we we come up with this kind of um, packaging, packaging nice, concept. Nice. Yeah. So how much does it retail for? Actually, the retail price is thirty two, mm -hmm. but we sell it here um, twenty three. Amazing. Yes. All right. So, um, what other products do you have apart from this? Is uh, what you call this lip balm or lipstick? This is a natural makeup. You can use it as a lipstick, blusher, and also eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, Bash and also Zane here, uh, dropping by at Coffee by Dill Handbrew Artisan booth. All right, and we have Dill himself, the founder of Dill Coffee Trail. Hi and guys. that's for me? Uh, yeah, this is for you, your ice latte. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Love this it. smells good, actually. I love the smell of coffee. So, Dill, tell us a little bit about uh, Dill Coffee Trail. How did you start off Dill Coffee Trail? How long have you been around? Uh, well, uh, this coffee chair started uh, in January this year yeah. uh, as a home-based uh, cafe. I specialize in uh, specialty coffee and home-based. Uh. All right, so tell us a little bit about um, your coffee. I mean, you yourself as the uh, brewer, yes. like yes. what kind of coffee would, okay. I mean, do you like? Are you an espresso base or are you a latte? I'm, I'm, I'm all actually. Uh, I enjoy filter, I enjoy espresso, uh -huh. but it uh, depends on uh, uh, the time of the day. All right. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, I, I go to the gym. Uh -huh. So as a pre-workout, I feel the espresso. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you know, and then uh, to the uh, after lunch, after lunch, I enjoy something with milk uh -huh. and uh, like hot latte or yeah. flat white. I love that. So and then maybe enjoy a little bit of dessert. So mm -hmm. that's nice. So I think it depends the time of your day as well and the kind of profile that each customer mm -hmm. likes. Uh, some customers prefer milk based, that's why we always in, uh, introduce them with the uh, latte or flake white. Yeah. But some customers they don't like milk, they don't want nothing uh, too heavy, they want something fruity and light. So I would recommend them to support mm -hmm. And one of the uh, specialty or one of the things that I always uh, endorse in my cafe is that all the beans or what I've been selling are all created by me. Nice. Just mean they are personalized sourced by me. Yeah. If it doesn't anything that doesn't pass me, I will not sell it. Nice. So I know it sounds a bit of high standard, but I think this is kind of service that you uh, give to your customers. Yeah. All right, guys. Now that's the end or the wrap for the third day of the MSME showcase, brought to you by BIBD and. The Borneo Bulletin yearbook. Guys, thank you so much for supporting your local businesses right here at One Riverside. It has been truly an honor to talk to all these vendors, these amazing, amazing vendors right here, right now. Really inspiring actually though to uh, get close with uh, the entrepreneurs here. Proudly by Brunei and made in Brunei. So why not? Let's support our local economy, our local entrepreneurs as well. Proudly by Brunei. Exactly. Yes, so thank you so much. Don't forget to tune in to Palangi 91.4 and 91.0 FM. My name is Bash Harry. And Zane Sabri signing out. Ooh, I really love this Bye. coffee here. Bye-bye.